Hello and welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it is vlog day today. So happy to see every single one of you. So today carrying on with that travel theme, we are going to be doing some car coasters from start to finish. So I'm going to be starting them and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish them off. So we're going to do that all in one vlog today. Now I do have my Tumblr from, it's my tutorial from, from Friday. I have that for you guys. I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed that. I, I, I did too. You know, it's just, it's hard coming up with ideas that don't involve glitter. You know what I mean? So if I happen to have an idea that seems like it's going to be okay, that doesn't involve glitter, it's always nice to kind of do that. So that way, because like I said, it's probably the hardest uh, thing to come up with it is a non-glittered look. It's nice to uh, come up with those concepts from time to time that could be for anybody. But I'm happy that you guys enjoyed that one. Another thing we're going to be doing today, I'm actually going to be doing this right now before we get started on the car coasters, but I want to show you guys how to reverse weed if you've never heard of it. Um, I'm going to go over a couple more steps as well that you could take if you're having issues with cutting certain things because I had actually a few people say on this tutorial in particular that they had a hard time with the turtles and you figure the turtles would probably be the easiest things possible, right? But sometimes that's just really difficult. So I'm going to go over a few things with you guys to help with anything, even with thin writing and all that. So I'm just going to go over a few things real quick uh about how to work with vinyl that's being a little bit difficult all right well we have a few things we got to get done so let's get to it shall we i have i have my tumbler and i'm ready to wake up prep these tumblers and slay all day let's do this All right, so first and foremost, the first thing we're going to talk about is the type of vinyl that we're using when it comes to having issues with it not weeding properly. So any type of specialty vinyls, whether it be the textured, the glitter, the, you know, opal and holographic, anything like that, I purchase from Tech Wrap Craft. Now I'm showing you the difference here. I couldn't find, I don't have any textured vinyl through Cricut, but I do have this glitter stuff through Cricut and you can feel the difference. The stuff, the, the Cricut brand is so thick and it is so hard to weed and, and it is so hard to transfer from its paper backing to your tumbler. Like it's just, it's a whole process whenever I use that stuff. Now I want to also say that I am not affiliated with Tech Wrap Craft. They did send me stuff in the past and I did do, you know, show off some stuff in the past, but as far as it is right now, I'm not affiliated with them. Uh, they just sent me free stuff. So that was a long time ago. And after I used it, I kind of got sucked into absolutely loving it. So, <laughs> or I, I honestly, I probably would have kept going with the Cricut and I would have never have known about it. So this is something that I, I'm just telling you guys, it is definitely a game changer when it comes to any type of specialty vinyls it is this is tech wrap craft it, it just weeds so much better transfers so much better so that's first and foremost but any type of like regular vinyl a 651 oracle um the even the cricket band you know that that's fine too but any just specialty uh, definitely definitely prefer this the second thing that not a lot of us think about and this has become something I do every single time before I cut, is I check my blade for any little pieces that might have come off from my project before. I can't tell you how many times I've had projects not cut properly because a little piece of flashing came off of another project. So always check your blade before you start cutting. Now with all these updates and everything done to the Cricut Design Space, the presets that are already in place for the particular vinyl that you're using have all have been working for me so i just use the default i don't use more or less on it i use the the default pressure for the particular vinyl that i'm using and even though it says in there that it's for cricket brands it doesn't matter just choose I, i'm cutting out the the textured vinyl choose the cricket premium textured vinyl and it should work just fine and if all those other things just seem to fail the vinyl that you're using everything just seems to fail maybe you just have a really intricate design that you're trying to get to get out of that, that vinyl there uh, then we're going to reverse weed and that should do the trick hopefully you know, cross our fingers. <laughs> so without attempting to weed it, I'm going to cut as close as I possibly can to my decal, leaving a little bit of room so that way it's easy to pull everything off. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get my transfer tape and burnish that down really, really well. And after I have that burnished, I'm gonna go ahead and take the whole thing and flip it upside down. And I'm going to remove the paper backing in this fashion where I take it and I roll it back onto itself. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better here. So I just take a little piece, get it going, and then just completely roll it back on top of itself. And that's gonna help out, make sure nothing comes off, you know, the whole backing comes off with it. And there we go. Now we're ready to go and we're ready to place that down onto our project. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place it onto this coaster that I just have laying around. I was gonna put it on the tumbler and then I changed my mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that down, get it burnished to the coaster. Peel back my transfer tape and you can see the design there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and simply pull back the areas that I do not want on my project. And it should all weed just like butter with your design staying left on your project. So whether it was simply making sure and checking your blade, whether it's the product, the type of vinyl that you're using, or just simply doing a reverse weed, I hope that these things really help you guys out. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to making some car coasters. Now I'm going to be doing up two car coasters here, but I did four all together that were the same exact color, but I wanted four, two for the front, two for the back of my car. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I mixed up 30 milliliters of epoxy, but I actually needed a little bit more than that for two coasters. So you want about 40 milliliters of epoxy. And I, I don't know about you guys, but my little containers only do 30 milliliters at a time. So I'm going to show you at the end, some other containers that I just recently purchased. So anyways, I divvied up that 30 milliliters into three little cups here and into one cup I am going to add ice and here I'm going to show you uh, I'm using electric love but if that's not in stock you can use taffy so in one portion I'm going to put this electric love and then into the other cup I am going to be putting I, I think believe into it and if you if I don't have believe there we go if believe isn't in stock then sugar and spice will work just as well it's a little bit darker but it'll, it'll do the the same for you and all these glitters can be found at socglitters.com if you would like to purchase them all right now after all my glitter is applied into my cups here i'm going to go ahead and stir those up really well and just kind of push those off to the side and bring over my car coasters i don't really know if there's a universal size of everybody's car coasters in their cars but mine needed the larger ones so uh there they do sell like smaller car coasters and larger car coasters so i guess it's always good to have the two sets on hand and then you can ask your customer or if you're making these for family you can kind of check and see what size you might possibly need now I've had these sitting in my drawer for a while, so in order to get all that hair and dust off of them, I went ahead and put gloves on my hands so I don't get my oils down into the mold, and I'm just gonna use painter's tape to get any little debris out of there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get these colors stacked on top of each other. I'm gonna put the gold at the bottom, the blue in the middle, and then I'm gonna add that pink around the top. But of course, this can be done in any manner that you would like mine are more like i was like doing sunset almost kind of beachy kind of look to it i i'm not going to be doing like a beach look to it with the quotes that i put onto it but um i just wanted like the coloring of it because it's summertime and that's what i wanted to do but you could obviously do either one color if that's all you want to do you could do multiple colors like i did here the sky is the limit when it comes to however you would like to design these and of course you don't have to use glitter either. You could use alcohol inks and, and epoxy dyes and whatnot if you don't want your car coasters to be sparkly, you know? So, and you could even set stuff into the coasters themselves if you want to inlay something in, into it, like shells or something. That's just, you know, a few options that you could possibly do, just a few ideas. You know, I obviously wanna come through and make up some stuff as the seasons roll on for the year. So I'll be coming through and making up some more car coasters as well. But always keep in mind that there is no right or wrong when it comes to making art however you think it should be is exactly how it should be you always just want to have fun with what you're doing you, you don't want to be stressed out about it so have fun be creative get whimsical let your imagination take you where it wants to take you and if anything if you're having just you know creative block going on sometimes that happens to me too that's what my channel is all about to kind of help you with your creative block if you happen to be having that to kind of push past that and give you guys ideas so i really hope that's what you guys take away from my channel especially on my sunday vlogs
All right, so I'm just adding my last color here. As you see, I'm gonna add that pink right around the top and I'm gonna gently just kind of swirl that down into the blue and everything's gonna kind of melt together as it cures and it's gonna have a really pretty kind of real hot pink look to the top. Now, after I add this little bit of hot pink to the top, I'm gonna very carefully, aiming just towards the inside of my, my mold, just in the epoxy area, I'm gonna hit it up with my blowtorch, and then I'm gonna place those off to the side in a very even area so that way they cure nice and straight for me. So my my most even area is right by, by where my turners are, there we go. So I'm gonna let those cure, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, they're nice and cured. Let's go ahead and get these unmolded here. So we're just gonna simply pull our silicone mold off and that's what we have. That's gonna be our top surface. That's where we're going to apply our decals. That bottom half, I'm gonna be applying cork here in a minute. So here are all four of my car coasters that I had made up. So this is what they are looking like. For the decals, I am using clear sticker paper to adhere them down to my tumbler instead of having to weed vinyl and all that because these are very intricate. You'll see them in a second. I got them straight off of Creative Fabrica. This is exactly how they came and I just printed them right out onto the sticker paper. You just stick your, put your sticker paper, there you go, right down into your printer just like you would with paper, print it out and cut them out yourself, so. Now, another thing I want to say is I've been using this sticker paper for quite a while. I actually did, I think, a tutorial where I used these and I had I didn't have any issues because they do have a little bit of a fogginess to it, but I've always used it on kind of lighter colors. And so they came out really nice. You couldn't even see that it had kind of um, a, a hint, a hue to it, you know? Uh, but when I go to apply them to these, I think because they're a little bit darker than the stuff I've been using, because this was my last sheet. That's that's how much I liked it. Um, when I went to go stick these down, I'll show you guys here, you, you'll be able to see around the outside of the sticker, and that really bothered me. So I'm going to show you how I fixed that. But anyways, uh, I <laughs> um, speaking of uh, how I was telling you guys earlier, use Tech Rack tech wrap craft for specialty stuff i guess they came out with their own sticker uh vinyl now printable sticker vinyl so i guess i'll look into that and I'll, I'll purchase some and see how that fares up against the stuff that i've been using okay with that being said with all that stuff i see how it has a little bit of a, a fog to it but like i said I, I never had any issues with it until now so i'm gonna go ahead all you got to do is peel it back you print it out peel it back stick it to your surface and it's good to go all right, that's how amazing clear, sti st clear sticker paper is. If you have a nice smooth surface, like if you're trying to work on a curved tumbler, it might be a little bit more difficult, but this is great for something nice and flat. You know, even uh, skinny tumblers probably work really great on. So like, like we did last Sunday, there we go. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and peel all these off, burnish them down really well to my coasters, and then we'll move on to the next step. I have about 10 milliliters of epoxy here because we're going to go ahead and dome our pieces. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, sparkle dust into it. This is champagne. I'm also going to add a little bit of alfresco into it as well just to add a little, a little extra something, something, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna simply take a bit of my epoxy, add a, a dollop of that right into the center. I'm gonna take my wooden stick there and I'm just gonna smooth it out all the way to the edge, making sure it doesn't drip off of the edge. You just wanna push it out to the edge without making it go off of it, if that makes sense. So we're just, we're just gonna dome it and seal everything down here. Okay, it's like uh, if you're making a peanut butter sandwich, you know what I mean? You take that peanut butter, you spread it to the edge, and it, you, you don't have it go off the edge, right? So it's pretty much the same concept, okay? <laughs> I know you guys got this. So in order to cover up that seam that's just bothering me with, from the stickers, I'm gonna take some, um, this is ice, but chunkier, and I actually haven't released this color yet. This is gonna be released probably next week sometime. This is called Glacier, and it's a mini chunky version of ice that I use for the center. So I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna take my little silicone tool, and the epoxy's still wet that is over top of our decals, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that glitter and just go right over the edges with this glitter to kind of fade those edges out and it it pretty much disappears for you it's it's barely visible i can see it because i know it's there but if somebody else was looking at it they can't even tell it's there so that's just my way of kind of hiding it using a semi-translucent um, glitter to go over top of the seams so that way it just melts away a bit all right and after that's all said and done i'm going to go ahead and let those cure and they're ready to move on to the next step 
right, those are cured. And I bought myself this mat. Oh, hold on. Let me scoot this back a bit so you can see a little bit better. There we go. I bought myself this healing mat, the self-healing healing mat, because I'm going to be using cork for the back of my coasters and I didn't want to scratch up my table. So this is the cork that I'm going to be using. I bought all this stuff at Michael's. I'll make sure to put it into the description box for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of this cork off so that way we can get that going. I have a line of cork all made up. They all fit nicely in there and we're going to go ahead and get this cut. And to cut, I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut around the outside of my coaster. And then I'm gonna use a sharp X-Acto knife to cut out that little dent that's in the top there. And to adhere the cork down to my coasters, I'm gonna be using E6000, and you know what? I never read the back, so let, let me read some stuff that I feel like you guys should know that apply directly to surfaces, blah, 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 allow 24 hours for curing. Depending on materials and temperature, maximum strength may not be reached for 48 to 72 hours. So we're gonna keep that in mind. And of course it does say to you, you know, rough up the area a little bit, so that way it probably gives it a little bit better adhesion, but don't really need to do that with the back of these coasters. They're pretty rough as it is, so. So there we go. So, and of course you wanna wear gloves. You don't want this stuff on your skin. And my garage door is wide open with my fans going because this stuff stinks, okay? <laughs> so make sure you got, you got well ventilated area going on as well. So I squirted a little bit onto the back of my coaster there and I'm just gonna take a throwaway brush. I got this old chip brush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I keep it inside of the bottom there. You don't wanna get it around the side, then it'll, you know, you'll have that glue around the side. We don't want that. So you just wanna make sure you get it as close to the edges as you, as you possibly can so that way that cork can rest up against that edge and not peel back over time. And then go ahead and place your cork right over top there and then you're going to finish up the rest of your coasters in the same exact fashion now after i'm all done i want to put something over top to weigh them down so that way that cork gets properly adhered to the back i'm going to stack up this uh, 64 ounce pitcher and then i might add a couple more things to it as well and then i'm going to go ahead and let that dry for 24 hours after that 24 hours i remove everything off top and let that air dry another two to three days uh, something i couldn't fit in there just now was i let it dry for another two to three days kind of like open so that way that smell of the glue because that glue is really stinky kind of dissipates so that way when you go to place it into your car that's not the only thing you smell in your car because it's kind of stinky so if you don't like that idea you could use epoxy as well so that way it doesn't it's not anything stinky but yeah it's kind of stinky for a few days afterwards so that's that's why I did that anyways so this is how they turned out super cute I love them I'm gonna go put them in my car now after after this so <laughs> and I hope that tip helped you guys okay and those were the only things that I could think of and the reason why I wanted to include it in this video is because so many people actually asked about it that you know I was a little concerned I'm like well maybe there were so many things that it could be so many variables um because I do have people reach out to me from time to time with their issues and I'll make sure that I really think about all the variables that something could be so especially epoxy questions I have a lot of people reach out to me about epoxy questions so it's just trying to figure out what it possibly could be and hopefully that fixes fixes the situation there we go but yeah i know you know it's just something simple and i hope it helps and i just really want you guys to know that i see i try to see everybody's questions i get a lot of questions on older videos and stuff like that i, I have a lot of people reach out to me kind of personally to try to help them with with questions they might have and if i don't if i'm not able to get to you and help you out with your question just know that it's not that i i didn't want to answer it it's just i have a lot of other people that i'm answering and, and have answered and if i if i can i try to go back through and roll back through and and answer people's questions but it, it's just difficult sometimes to answer everything so I, I do my absolute best i just want you guys to know that um your questions are valid I, you know, and if, if I happen to see it and I can answer it right away, I'll do it, you know, so I just want you guys to know that and I, I don't want anybody to ever think, oh, she didn't want to help me. That's not the case. I would love to sit down and help everybody all the time, but I can only do so much, you know, so I just want you guys to know that, you know, and don't, don't be discouraged. Ask your questions and if I can answer it, like I said, I absolutely will. 
Okay, and before I let you guys go, I'm gonna talk to you about these measuring cups I ordered because I ordered three different types of measuring cups for epoxy, so let me show you guys. Okay, so the first one was just a basic measuring cup. I went ahead and I just bought a bunch because I needed them. I was like, this was a great opportunity because I was like, I needed to buy more. So I just went ahead and bought a bunch of different sizes. So the first one is great because it goes really, really small. And that's what I need. It goes 2.5 so that way we can do smaller, the smaller increments. Sometimes I only need a little bit. Sometimes I only need five milliliters you know, for little projects. So that's what those are for, just regular basic ones that I use all the time. The next step up goes up to, this is a two ounce, so this is just a one ounce cup. Okay, this is pretty typical. This one's actually two ounces, you can do two ounces. So you can do up to 60 milliliters of epoxy in this. And sometimes you need to go over a little bit more. This goes up to 45, so right after 30 is 45. So if you needed just that little bit extra, and you didn't want to get out a huge cup or something, or you didn't want to do two cups or whatever, you know, that's why I got this stuff. So that's the next size up. So that's what that looks like. And then the third one was for big projects. So I got myself these big old cups. Okay, and this goes up to 230 milliliters. So, <laughs> what is it, eight, eight fluid ounces? So that's a big boy for doing big projects. So I got just a little bit more, you know, medium size projects, big project, and just my basic everyday stuff that I do. And I'll make sure to put that stuff down in the description box for you guys. But the reason why I got these big ones is, maybe we'll talk about that next Sunday. We'll talk about that next Sunday. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it now. <laughs> I'll tell you next Sunday. All right. <laughs> but I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.